current liabilities current liabilities group normally constitutes a large number of ledger accounts and subgroups and is subdivided into three reserved subgroups duties and taxes provisions and sundry creditors duties and taxes this subgroup is for all excise sales and other trade taxes this head normally constitutes the duties and taxes that you collect or pay through sales and purchase transactions whose balance will appear in balance sheet for preparation of proper statutory returns like sales tax vat cst excise duty etc tax collected through other means other than invoice like marketing fee purchase tax and amount collected through payroll like tds pf esi p p tax etc are not placed under this such accounts should be placed under current liabilities though as per accounting practice such accounts are part of current liabilities tally places these accounts under duties and taxes groups to facilitate its own internal processing and reporting of tax accounts to comply statutory requirements under the respective rules provisions it is a place for all sorts of provisions like provision for bad debts etc place similar provisions as applicable like provision for bad and doubtful debts deferred payment liabilities etc however depreciation provided should go under fixed assets because decrease depreciation provided is diminution diminution in book value of fixed assets sundry creditors place the ledger accounts of all trade creditors suppliers even if any ledger account has debit balance at some point of time due to advance payment etc if you sell to or purchase from same party create only one ledger account and place under sundry debtors or sundry creditors group as convenient current liabilities place all other liability accounts which are not candidates of any of the above three groups like liabilities for expenses employees contribution for es esi pf etc etc realized from employees etc